stop me, I'm all the way up. Uh. What's that? Oh. oh, we'll be having some of that later. But first... Major key guys, a little bit of cold water to make sure you don't burn the coffee when you put the, the hot or boiling water in there. There we have it. <sighs> Alright, everybody, how are we? Hope we're all doing well. Uh, this morning it is my day off and I'm feeling absolutely fantastic about it. Um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, it is Wednesday the 23rd of November, and that makes day 103. Haven't, haven't worn this top for a while, and um, it's, it's quite interesting because I think the last time I wore this top, just out of interest guys, for your information, was uh, around about five or four weeks out from the show that I was going to do before I started this series. So. Right now I'm going to add in a clip of me um, from the five weeks out video and I'm wearing the same top, same place, sitting right here, but the reality is I look a lot smaller. I look stringy, I look weak, I look depleted. And looking back now, I'm really thanking myself that I, I realized that and I didn't, I didn't push through, I didn't lose any more muscle than I needed to and I started bulking again. So with that being said, we're going to have a look at that right now. So I don't know what you guys think, but you know, it's probably not the best lighting here, but I'm definitely feeling bigger. I am bigger, I am stronger, and things are going well. But with that said, it's day 103, and before I do anything, I'm going to have a sip of this. Ah, oh, too fucking hot. Oi, I've been dealing with a burnt mouth again. I don't know if you remember, but a few episodes ago, I told you guys that I ate some chips with some sauce on it that had been in the microwave, and it had been boiling, and I put the sauce right onto my fucking teeth, on my mouth, and it burnt the shit out of it. Well, that took about three or four days to, to recover from. And then the other day, I was eating, we took my clients out for lunch on Friday, what's today, Wednesday, and um, I took a, a bite into some of these wedges that had just come out, and lo and behold, I burnt my fucking mouth again. So, up until probably today, I've been dealing with that again. So, I don't know if it's my gums or what, or I'm not used to really hot food, but holy shit, like, I've... I've really put myself through the ringer as far as burning my mouth. And then of course, that makes eating um, not the easiest. But enough of the complaints. I'm actually feeling really good today. The burnt mouth is over, but let's just hope I don't do it again on this coffee. Now before I rattle on too much, I wanted to run through my current supplement regime. So these are the supplements that I've been using recently. Um, I've only brought supplements back in in the last two weeks after I got back from Bali in Christchurch. For that month while I was away, I had absolutely no supplements, no creatine, no protein powder, nothing. It was all, it was all down to food and what I consumed. I had no supplements. Uh, as I, when I came back, I realized that you know supplements are important, especially if you're trying to build muscle naturally. I think there's a couple of supplements that will do you really good and so I brought them back into my regime, as well as, would you believe, this is my second bag of pea protein, and it's finished. So I've gone through two kilos of pea protein now in chocolate flavor, and to be honest guys, 
after that review that I did on it, I really, I felt bad, to be honest, I felt bad. This is uh, bulk nutrients, pea protein. I really um, threw it under the bus, to be honest, and then I was put in a position where I had no choice but to use that because I'd run out of all my other whey protein. And from that day, guys, I mixed oats, I mixed a banana, I mixed blueberries and milk with the chocolate pea protein, and it tasted really good. So from that day, I've had um, pea protein as my protein powder. But like I said, I've only brought it back in the last two weeks, and we've just run out. So as well as the protein powder, we've got two supplements that I'm using regularly every single day. We've got creatine, once again from Bulk Nutrients. So I brought this back into my diet, and that has probably been a catalyst as to why my weight has shot back up again to, to the 100 kg mark. But we've got creatine, I'm having five, possibly 10 grams a day, five to 10 grams a day in a shake, or even you know if I'm running on time, if I'm running low on time and I don't have time to put it in a shake, I'll just put a spoon in my mouth and just swig it down with some water because creatine doesn't actually taste like anything. So you can do that. And as well as that, I got, once again from Bulk Nutrients, some beta alanine. So beta alanine, I will include as a pre-workout, so I'm going to include it in my pre-workout drink, whatever that is. Um, I'm not game enough to take beta alanine to straight to the dome, but I definitely uh, mix it into a drink, whatever that may be. And I'm having probably about five grams of beta alanine in my pre-workout. Now, if you're talking about doses, clini clinically dosed beta alanine serves in pre-workouts, um, you probably won't find any that are more than probably two grams per serve. And I wanted more than that. I wanted a good amount of beta, beta alanine to get the most you know, out of it. And I'm definitely getting those tingles um, and the explosiveness is there. And the creatine, it's adding in you know, more, more volume into the muscle. It's, it's, it's tighter, it's denser, it's stronger. So these two supplements are definitely two that I'm um, happy to include. And I am including. Um, now, if I do suffer from any joint pain, any you know elbow pain, um, knee pain, anything like that. My elbows have given me troubles in the past. Basically, it, it all depends on what my workout structure is like. If I'm doing too much push work, too much bench press, you know shoulder press, tricep extensions, things like that. If I'm hitting my triceps three times a week, and I do sometimes, um, I will start to feel it in my joints. I think that's, you know, it's a, it's a mixture of overtraining and under recovering. So with that said, if I do feel like I'm, you know, getting a, a, some sort of inflammation in the joints, I've got two supplements. I've got a fish oil. Now this is actually the last of my Kayani uh, fish oil supplement. You may have seen a video that I did previously on Kayani. It's a network marketing business, a supplement business. Um, and I decided to go into it. Um, the products weren't all they were cracked up to be, but as far as fish oil goes, yes, this is an effective fish oil supplement, so I'm still using the supplement. So fish oil, I'm using that one at the moment, and I've got glucosamine if I really need it. So the one time I actually bought glucosamine was when just after I did legs, I did a leg day with Massive Joes down in Adelaide, and it was the hardest leg workout I've ever done, and I'll tell you what, nine days later, my legs were still sore. So after two days, two days post-workout, my leg, I, I literally, I felt like I'd, I'd ripped something. I'd never had that much pain in my quads and in my legs in my entire life, and um, so I went out and went to the chemist and said, what can you do for me? Like, honestly, what the fuck is going on? So they sold me this, and I took it, and the pain still stayed around till probably about nine days post-workout, and that is a leg workout I will never, ever forget. Wow. So anyways, um, fish for the joints, we've got beta alanine pre-workout, we've got creatine any time of the day, but every day, if I can remember, and we've got a protein powder which I just add in to my shakes, as you guys know. So that, guys, is my supplement regime. There is one more. And I've only just recently bought it again, which is uh, vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is great for the immune system. It's great, you know, if you, if you feel like you're coming down with something, start smashing the vitamin C. I don't know how effective it really is, but to be honest, guys, I really like the taste of these. 
they're actually they're sour and quite nice. I like sour lollies. So um, yeah, I'm probably having about six a day. So that's about three grams total vitamin C per day. And um, yeah, seems to be going well. So that is it. That's it as far as supplements. The coffee's probably cooled down now. Yep, perfect. So, um, yeah, that would be my, my supplement regime. I, um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. In fact, first thing I'm going to do is do a couple of voiceovers for a couple of videos that are coming out. So, more training footage has been coming out, as you guys saw. Um, this video here will not be coming out on the 22nd of November. This will be coming out a lot later, probably mid-December, but to keep my channel running and to keep the videos coming out consistently, I've had to get a sort of a buffer um, so that I've, I've always got videos in the bank to, to put out and keep you guys updated. So, day 103, feeling good, feeling strong, feeling like we're making some fucking gains, finally. I'm going to stick around the 100kg mark and just see see what my body composition does. Um, I've been really pushing the calories in the last couple of weeks since I got back, so I've bumped myself back up to the 100kg, which is what I wanted, so we're there now, and we're just going to see what happens. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Would you have a look at this guy? The peaks. That was, that was actually in Bali. Um, right now we are post-workout. Post-workout, I've got my protein source, which is kangaroo. Put the cable down there. Um, kangaroo and barbecue sauce. So we've got, we've got, actually got 500 grams worth of kangaroo meat. Some of you may say that that's too much to eat in one sitting. I say that I want to get my protein down now because it tastes the worst out of all the food that I can eat in the future. So I'll get my protein in and then I'll eat my carbs and fats after that. So that's what I'm doing. And I believe that you should look at your diet, look at your macros and calories in 24 hour blocks at the least, if not 48 hour blocks, rather than hour blocks, three hour blocks, six hour blocks, because I reckon you take in the food, your body's still going to digest it, your body's still going to absorb it, it's just going to take longer. So you don't want to smash yourself again after eating, you know, I'll eat, I'll eat all this, 500 grams of kangaroo meat might be 100 grams of protein, so that's 100 grams worth. I've already had 60 odd, so for the rest of the day I'll have another 70 or 80, and then I'll be at 240 for the day, and that'll be great. I will have eaten a hundred worth in the middle of the day, but it's fine. It really doesn't matter. So that's what we're doing. Um, Post-workout, we're having this. I've also had two wraps with honey, and I've had four crumpets with peanut butter, and they were absolutely delicious. So I'm going to get onto this. If you're wondering what it looks like, it looks like this, and it's quite hot. Let's hope I don't fucking burn my mouth again. And uh, yeah, that, that's post-workout 101.